Okay, this is the final step. There's grandma making cherry tart. And this is what these things look like. You can see if you cook them enough like this, they get kind of shrivelly up. And if you look on the bottom, most of the juice is gone. <clears throat> and I did sneak, I forgot one other thing. Gavin would sneak a little bit of grease from the Nooski's bacon in here. <clears throat> so I stuck a tablespoon or so of that grease in here to make it good and uh, cholesterol -y or whatever. Lots of butter and Nooski's bacon grease. Secret ingredient. So that's what these things look like when they're cooked down. Like I said, you can see there's no juice left or very little juice left on the bottom of the pan. So that's it. That should do it. If you want to put a little extra sugar on it or a little extra vinegar, you can do that. But uh, I'm going to turn the heat off, put the cover on, and just let them sit. So the longer they sit sometimes, the better they are. So if you cook them the night before and put them in a the fridge and then heat them up the next day, I think they're actually better. So there you go. There you go.